Hey gang, Miller Mike here at Texas HQ. Today we've got this Troy Belt 21 inch push mower with the 6.7 horse Briggs on it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to change the oil on this sucker the right way. I wasn't gonna do this video, but there's so much wrong stuff on how to change the oil on this and get the oil out of it online that I wanted to post this the right way. Now, the first thing you wanna do, you wanna elevate this thing. So we're gonna have to get underneath it to drain the oil. So, you know, you can get a pair of saw horses, get it up on a stand, however you wanna do it just so you can get underneath there because we're gonna have to get underneath there and do a little work. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna get this thing up on my bench. The first thing, we need to take off this blade and then we can take off this plastic cover in order to get to the drain plug. So this is just a 5 eighths right here. Oh, it helps when you put your, uh, <laughs> put her in full reverse. So you pop that off. And then what you've got, you've got a half inch bolt that holds this plastic cover on here. There's one here. Now you only have to take off one of these half inch bolts. The other ones don't actually hold that plastic cover on. And then, okay, so we've moved to the other side and there is one other bolt to get this little plastic cover thingamabobber off of here. Not quite sure why they put it on there except to protect the, uh, the belt. So there's a 3 8 inch bolt. It's the only smaller one on there. I already had it loosened up. Now, when you take this thing off here, you just have to turn it so it matches the rectangle. So, you know, fit the rectangle through the rectangle hole, take it off like so. And then if you look underneath here, look at that right there. So that's your drain plug. So it's just a 3 8 inch extension. Square piece goes in the square hole. And let's see if she drains out. I doubt this thing's ever been drained. This is such a pain to do. Ah, right. oh, there we go. Now this thing's been sitting for years and years and years and years. There ain't no telling what this all is gonna look like. But she's coming out. I hope that's the old drain plug. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got black gold. So look at that. All right. And that's how you properly drain it. Don't listen to those goobers online. Talk about siphon pumps and all that crap. It's not that hard. So with that, we'll get her drained out and move to the top. Okay. So we've let all that nasty, nasty old oil drain out of there. And you just screw that drain plug back in there. Just make sure to clean that drain plug before you put it back in there. Just so, you know, you're starting fresh here. And then tighten her up. And you don't want to put He-Man strength on it, but, you know, make sure she's tied up in there so you don't have a leak. These are aluminum cases, so don't go super tight. I usually put about 10 pounds. You slide your little cover back up on there. Line her up. And you put your bolts back in. Easy breezy. In theory. All right, so we've got our 3 8 on here, and now we just put our half incher on there and when you put this on I just want to stress you do want to make it tight because this is actually holding the uh, motor down to the frame of the motor of the mower itself gotta admit I've never changed oil quite like this but uh, hey anything can get that old oil out of there and get all of it it's that problem with those siphon tubes they don't get the bottom of it out you know, so you end up with all the same crap in the bottom. It's just not that great. So go ahead and spend the time, get the mower up on some stands or whatever. And uh, there we go. And then next, we're going to go ahead and put a new blade on. Now, this is the perfect opportunity to put a new blade on. So what we got here, we got a brand new freaking blade. Just make sure to put it on correctly. Yep. I can see that little, yep. that little cover goes just like that. The two little holes go into the holes in the blade and it just bolts on there like so. Just make sure when you put any mower blade on, make sure to put the uh, sharp pointy part down. Don't put it up. Can't tell you how many times I've seen some lawn mowers with the, the wrong side actually cutting the grass. And then you do that, you're just beating up the grass. So just line her up. And then just hit it, you know. I'll go ahead and tighten that blade up, but that's how you do it. That's how you get the oil out. And next we'll move up top to lower with fresh oil. 
Okay, so now I'll move on to the fun, easy part. Forget that drain in the wall. Let's move on to filling her up. Now, everything I read online says this uh, 6.75 horse motor takes about a quart and a half of oil. Now, I always like to use the uh, Amsoil small engine oil. This is some good stuff. Uh, I've got 5W30, so it's pretty typical. So let's do a quart and a half and see what she looks like. Now, you don't want to overfill these motors because if you overfill them, they'll start smoking on you, trust me. So, that's almost a quart. So let's go ahead and check it here. Now before you check it, you always want to clean your dipstick. So you stick it down there and there and just do a quick, a little quick, quick hit. And uh, yeah, definitely looks like we got her filled up. All right, gang, so now for the quick payoff, we've got fresh oil in her. Let's start her up. Here she does run a little smoother that ams oil in it that's just some good oil so i hope that helps you know uh it's not that hard just make sure to jack up the mower and get that oil out of there so with that mower mics out please subscribe <laughs>